in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can build the best offense in Madden 23 in less than a week, and we're talking about part three, our constraint theory plays. Constraint theory plays are really important to have in your offensive scheme because they ensure that you're going to be living in a perfect world. What that basically means is if your opponent is spamming any kind of different coverage defense, any kind of different thing over and over again, for example, if they're running man coverage over and over again, if they're running a blitz over and over again, if they're running zone over and over again, the constraint theory play is going to give you a tool and is having a collection of a couple different plays that can really, really take advantage of the defense. One of the best pieces to developing a good constraint theory play is to have some type of quick snap play. A quick snap play is something that you can call in one hot route or less, and it's going to beat the majority of defenses. We're going to show you that in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire offensive or defensive ebook library, make sure that you join my Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, but becoming a member, you're going to get access to everything, all of our offensive, defensive ebook books in Madden 23. We've got over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks and we're dropping a brand new ebook this week. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. All right, guys, so let's talk about constraint theory plays in this video, and today we're taking a look at, again, just a simple idea of quick snappable plays. What can you call quick that is going to be, um, it's going to be a big bang for your buck, right? What what does that look like? Um, and for me, you know, really the best play, White Sail is a really, really good little base play. If you take a look at this, this is a great base play. And if you look at the for look at the way the play works, we're essentially going to be attacking the right side deep sideline, right? In our counter play we talked about the other day, we talked about the ability to attack the left side sideline um, as well because that's an important, uh, important aspect of the offense. And in today's video, what we're going to do is talk about a constraint theory play. What's a play that we can call with one hot route or less or quick step play that can beat, you know, some of the spam type defenses that you're going to see. For me, I think that the best play for this is going to be escape. And the reason, the primary reason is because this play um, is going to be doing a good job of kind of attacking different parts of the field. So with this play escape, what we're going to do fairly simply here is we're just going to take this running back route. This running back route was a lot better last year. You'll see this year if I if I use it, um, he just doesn't really beat man as well as he has in the past. So what I like to do with this is actually really simple. All we're going to do is we're just going to take the running back and we're going to put him on a wheel route. That's literally it. Just put the running back on this quick throw wheel route, and you're going to see here that against man, we can throw a high ball just like that and attack the defense that way. Now, if you don't want to have a wheel route, then my recommendation is to simply put the running back on a block. I think that this is super helpful because um, you're going to pick up most blitzes if you block your running back this year. And really what we're trying to do is just isolate this tight end out route. This tight end out route is really good, and if you think about it, they're going to be dropping their zones deep and so what this is this is basically flood from bunch now if you want to put the running back on an out route you can do that at will so those are a couple different versions of this quick snap play but again the basic idea here is how can we snap this super fast and how can this beat the majority of defenses we're going to face well you also see here that this route to cooper cup it doesn't always beat um, I will say it's a little inconsistent this year, but it is decent, uh, especially, you'll see right here, if I highball, just get the ball out there, he can give him a chance. Now, if they're playing cover zero, so let's say that they're dropping, let's say they're dropping the safeties out, um, you know, something like this, they're playing that like cover zero stuff, then that right there is a little bit more of an opportunity, one-on-one -on -one with short and lean. Obviously, I need to get a better route running receiver. I was kind of trying to you know, save some save some coins on, on players. Um, but that route right there, if you have a good receiver, it can beat man, it certainly can. Um, if they press you, uh, that can also, you know, this is also really good because you'll see here, again, you get natural rubs within the formation and you're noticing that out route is just open. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about zone coverage. Now again, every play in your offense, in my opinion, it should be able to beat man zone in the blitz and, uh, or, and match should be able to beat all four. But there are certain things, like like this play right here is really good against man. Against zone, if you watch this deep out route, you can kind of fit this out route in to different spots. Now, another cool little hot route, if you do have the hot route master, would be to take this tight end and put him on a corner route, then snap the ball super fast. 
Why? Because the corner route is going to get to a different part of the field than the Y sail route. The Y sail route is going to get, you know, super deep down the field. This one's going to hit a little bit quicker. Um, so that's another thing to kind of think about. This in route right here, I feel like is really good um, against man. Again, man is the meta, so we're kind of tailoring. Uh, we're kind of tailoring this a little bit more to man or man press. Um, you know, this corner route on the left side, especially if you have a good receiver, a lot of times you're going to get that separation just like that to the sideline. So you've got a lot of options in this against man to man. Now let's talk about some zone. Let's talk about some of the things with zone. Uh, one of the most popular zones in the game. This is why I like to wheel route the running back, by the way. You don't have to wheel route the running back, but I do like to, um, especially against zone coverage, because you're going to see here that he's going to almost act like a pull route, and you can kind of fit this into a small little window against cover three, as you can see right there. Um, you can really hit this against cover two. So if they're starting to run a lot of cover two blitzes, this is a really, really good play to call, because what you'll see here is this, the way this post route runs you can kind of freeform it up into the seam just like that right there. So the post route is really good. Uh, and when you pair that with the, the corner route to Wilson, I think you just get a lot, of a lot of value within this play, as you can see right there. And I think we talked about in our counterplay, you know, the idea of like doing something, you know, basically, basically like this, essentially. This concept right here, um, kind of being a really good counterplay, and it is a really good counterplay. Um, it's, I think it's a perfect counterplay because it just does such a good job of taking advantage of what the vulnerabilities are based off of what our power play established. What this play does is it's a quick snap play that essentially inverts everything because now your slot receiver is gonna be running the sharp cutting corner. Your post route, is coming from your, um, you know, from this guy. This guy's running an intermediate route now. So you see how we're just kind of, you know, tweaking and, and just subtly making little differences in the scheme. You can run this play completely stock. I'll give you a couple of other adjustments that I think are interesting. Um, one simple one is to just streak pickings and snap. Um, if you're playing more zone, that's not too bad because you have the flood concept on the left side. Flood side. Um, and then you also have, you still have this running back. This running back, when you clear him out, especially if you have backfield master, he's not terrible. You can you can kind of freeform it open, but in my opinion, it takes way too long this year. Um, you know, it's, it's just not great. You can do something like that right there, but you see you get, you kind of get these random little crappy animations with the escape route this year, in my opinion. So what I like to do is again, out route, wheel route, table route, any of that stuff. Um, to me is effective or I actually think it's fairly, fairly decent to just block him and do something more like this you know and then you can and then you can throw a D line pick I guess in Madden 23 um, but as you can see there you know pretty decent now I want to go over um, want to go over match because you always have to have an answer for match in my opinion so let's just go over quarters what are you gonna do if they call match coverage on you um, fairly straightforward your post route um, your post route should be open over the top. The other thing that you should be able to do though is you should be able to hit either your running back or your tight end. This concept to the right side is almost unguardable uh, just because of the way the game plays. You know, so you see here that out route, even though they're matching it technically, it's still open. You can throw that with a pass lead down and outside. So, you know, you have a lot of opportunity there. The other thing I want to show you is on the left side here. Um, you know, you can hit that in route late. You've got that deep post. I don't know why Darren Waller is running this post route. Let me call timeout and get somebody out there that can actually run routes. Um, but this play, like I said, super simple, super quick, snappable. Uh, Red Zone Scissors is another play that you could use. Um, I don't feel like it's as quick snappable. Basically, with Red Zone Scissors, you would have to essentially... Um, I'll come out red zone scissors and show you something. So basically what you could do in this one is if you just simply put this guy on a C route and snap the ball, what's really good about this one is your running back is now going to run this really nice corner route. So it's just a it's a it's a playoff of the seam wheel. Um, every year a good constraint theory play is this play of mesh spot or just using this wheel route to the running back. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna do something like this. This right here is a really good constraint theory play. Um, essentially, you've got that little clear out right there in zone, 
and then you have you know stuff you can check down to over on this side so those are some ideas of different constraint theory plays that in my opinion my constraint theory play has to check a couple boxes has to beat man has to beat zone has to beat the blitz and you could actually have multiple of these plays you could have three to five constraint theory plays in my opinion that are really good against one or two things for example a good constraint theory play could be a bomb coverage like how do we gonna how are we gonna bomb coverage maybe we do something like this to try to get you know a coverage beater uh, going over the top here this post just keeps running and running and running you know maybe that's a good option okay but in my opinion you have to the biggest key to an escape or uh, to a quick snap play is it has to be in my opinion something that is an inverse um, something that's going to take advantage of the defense over committed over committing to one thing or the other to me escape is really good against man and it's it's decent against zone but it's really good against man because of how good that tight end out route is Guys, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, I'm going to put the Patreon link on your screen. You can click that link for just $10. You can go join, get access to everything, all of our ebooks, all the updates. Thanks for watching and go check out the Patreon.